Suck that in front of your mother. You go wash your mouth out with soap. Can't understand these young ones. Where would he pick up language like that? He sure never heard that word from me. And then mother said, why, maybe he heard it on TV. Some fellow's been talking about needing two political parties. Seems the other party is called, well, uh, you know what he said. And then daddy yelled, two parties? What will they think of next? Ho, 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 ho. I've helped to raise my country from the valley to the sky. Not ashamed to live a while, not afraid to die. I've been this wide world over and I stand right here to say the place I like the best is in the good old USA. I'm just a good old country boy, that's just what I am. My mammy's Miss America and my daddy's Uncle Sam. I'm just a good old country Boy, that's just what I am. My mammy's Miss America and my daddy's Uncle Sam. Yes, once upon a time there were three Razorbacks who lived in a one-party state. And one of the silliest things the Razorbacks ever did here was a state needed two political parties. Of course, they didn't see anything silly about the fact that they had two supermarkets to go to. Now, Mama Razorback was a very smart shopper. Every week she read all the ads and then they would buy the best bargains to be found in each market. And since the two supermarkets were in competition, the Razorbacks found they not only saved money by playing one against the other, they also got excellent service. Claude, what's that I can see at the top of your shopping bag there? Thank you. Now, what would you do if you found something wrong with that can of peas? That's right. The store would go way out of its way to help you get your money's worth. But Claude, stop and think what it would be like if in the whole state, there were not two supermarkets, but just one. You know, with no competition, a store could charge you most anything it liked. And you wouldn't have much freedom of choice. Since you'd have to buy here or not at all, why should they care? And as for service... Claude, aren't you glad there isn't just one supermarket? Say, Claude, while you're messing around in that $20 bag of groceries, you might just bring out that next item there. That's it. One of the most expensive single items you have in that bag. Taxes, which go to pay for the services you get from the state. Now, what happens when you have a complaint about taxes? That's right, you've only got one place to go. But watch it, Claude. Remember, this is a one-party state, and you know what happened with that little old 15-cent can of peas. And think for a minute of all the ways the state affects your life. Taxes are only one item, only one of the many ways you are touched each and every day by politics. Show you what I mean. Uh, think about your home, for instance. Let's go there. It's early morning. You've just gotten up. You start to shave. And Mama starts to cook breakfast. You are now using utilities, gas, telephone, electricity, water. Do you realize how much you pay for those utilities? Sorry, didn't mean to upset you. The state regulates the rates. And tell me something, Claude. The last time the rates went up, was there anything you could do about it? In a one-party state, you haven't got much chance to appeal. When you leave home in the morning, you drive on roads that are the responsibility of the state. Are you happy with the road conditions you are paying for? Then, what about schools? 
Do you feel that the one-party system is doing the job in your schools that you want done? Or are you unhappy with school conditions and teachers' salaries? And what about old age benefits? Are you real satisfied with what the one-party state has done about those? Them too. Labor conditions, minimum wages, workmen's compensation can all be regulated by the state. Has your one-party state handled these to your satisfaction? But even in a one-party state, you pay taxes. <laughs> Sometimes a lot of them. If the money isn't going to pay for the things you feel are important, where is that money going? Let's go see. Here's where your taxes go, and this is how it gets spent. Claude, don't bother disturbing that fellow. True, he's sleeping on your payroll. But when his boss is going to be elected every year, no matter what, why should he pay any mind to you? And there's no point in going to him. Remember. Of course, there are some people who can get service. They know how. In a one-party state, it's easy for spatial interests to get spatial service at the expense of the taxpayer who foots the bills. Now, Claude, what do you think about a voter who wants just one party? That's right, he's a sucker. Not just an all-day sucker, but an everyday sucker. Because he puts himself in the position of having to trade at the only supermarket in the state. But all this isn't necessary. You can see to it that there's more than one supermarket. You can insist on making your state a two-party state. Why? For one thing, if there's competition, then they are going to have to fight for your vote. They are going to have to appeal to you by providing the things you feel are good for your state. And Claude, when the politicians need you, then you're somebody. Your job? Make them need you. When you do, Right in your own communities, you will find the two parties will set up precinct and district headquarters. They will come to you to find what services you need in exchange for the money you pay out in taxes. You won't have to come here. And as for political waste, they'll keep an eye on each other and together they'll get rid of it. And also both parties will have to put up better candidates for elective offices, assuring you of better officials. And when items like taxes, utility rates, pensions, new highways, or any kind of law comes up, you can be sure that more than one side of the argument is going to be heard. And the final decision will be yours, Claude, because in a two-party system, your vote becomes important. Of course, there are some people who don't like the two-party system. I can remember a paper hanger who didn't want more than one party anywhere in the world. And there's a prominent shoe salesman who wants a one-party system, even in outer space. And we hear tell of a doctor who will amputate any political party other than his own. Then there is one other guy who doesn't like two parties. This is a man who makes a business of fixing things. You know, things like elections. In a one-party system, he can get away with murder he kills your right to elect the people of your choice. But in a two-party state, then there is somebody always there, watching to see that you, the voter, get a fair count at every election. No, he doesn't like the two-party system. But he does. Of course, he would. He needs it to grow. And when he gets big enough, he'll be strong enough to fight for you when you need him. And he likes it too, because the more interest there is in politics, the more supporters he's going to get too. You know, in the last election, only about one third of the people voted who could have. There are plenty of voters to go around. And the two party system is important to him too. When it comes to allotting federal money and making federal appointments, he is much more likely to think about states with two parties because just as the state parties need your votes, the federal government needs the states. 
Why should the national parties help a state when everyone knows how it's going to vote, no matter what? Yes, a lot of people who are important to you, like the two-party system. For instance, the people who are in charge of finding states where they want to build new factories. Will they choose our state? Industry has said that it is more apt to choose states where there isn't corruption, graft, and dirty politics. These are things that a two-party system can eliminate. Industry means more money in the pockets of us all. Business men and workers. And industry likes the two-party system. So, Claude, let me ask you. In the future, as a voter, are you going to trade in the competitive stores? Or are you going to let him have your business so he can go on giving you the business? What about you, Junior? Take Two was produced as a public service by the Committee for the Two-Party System.